What's up guys, Ray with Overland Tundras and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an exciting video for you. We are here at DFG Off-Road Headquarters. I'm actually purchasing and testing out a new product for one of my friends, the owner of DFG Off-Road, which is uh, Overland Shower. So pretty cool. I'm gonna introduce you to the owner, the guys over here, and we're gonna install it. So check it out. Let's meet these guys. Hello folks, this is Carlo and I'm Michael with DFG Off-Road. Today we have a great product. We're gonna show you how to install the new shower slash changing room. So here's the shower tent. As you can see, well protected. And let's go open it up and see what it comes with. Here's a shower tank. It comes with a black PVC vinyl cover. Very important in Florida. We also provide hardwares, stainless steel. You guys would love this in Florida, especially. It comes with a couple of wrenches for you need, anchor points for the shower. We also got here adjustable brackets for any roof rack that you guys can find in the market these days. We also have one of the most important piece. It is our shower nozzle support. All right guys, so it's time to install as Mike explained. Um, there's a lot of goodies here. Really excited to put this product on the truck. So because I want that low profile look and I wanna keep it as closest to the cab as possible, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this L bracket on here first before mounting it onto the roof rack. So we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so we have installed our hardware on the shower tent. Now it's time to come over here to my Prinzu rack. So the tent does come with universal stainless steel hardware. However, I have the Prinzu design roof rack on my truck. So it comes with a T-slot uh, crossbar. So the best way to do this for my style, because I wanted a little bit lower profile, is I went ahead and got these carrier bolts. And then I also got what's called these little grommets they're little bushings kind of electrical grommets i like to put that between the metal bracket and the awning the reason i like to do that is because i want to avoid any any vibrations any noise like that so we're going to go ahead and install these these carrier bolts on here so check this out so look how beautiful this is they just slide on there so we're going to go ahead and put two have extra support so two on there and then we'll do two over here and we already have our measurement down. So we just slide those in there and we are ready to go. So let's mount the shower tent. All right, so we are ready to mount up our shower tent. We already measured everything. An important thing to do is make sure that you can open your door. Some roof racks are higher, some are lower. So just make sure that your door, wherever you put it at, you're still able to open it up and you're not messing the tent up or the cover up with the door opening, closing. So let's go ahead and install this. We already have our bolts in the T-slots. We already have our rubber washers so we don't get any vibration. So Carlos, let's go ahead. Yeah. Let's mount that up. So as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and put the stainless steel washer on top. And then we have our, lo our nylon knock, uh, lock nut. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put that on there and pretty straightforward. Everything is measured out, ready to go. Put this over here. We have all our tools ready to go. And just like that, all we need to do now is tighten it down mm -hmm. and we're good to go. We got our shower tent installed already. This is what you guys been waiting for. So I'm gonna show you a couple of features that I didn't mention and the reason is because I wanna get to this point. So I'm gonna show you. Okay. 
So here, we got a couple of straps here that is supporting the tent. We're gonna lose those and it's gonna unroll the shower tent. Also, we have a cable here. You guys wonder why? Well, we actually got a strip light LED installed down here, which is going to help you if you guys decide to use this at night. So here you go. We're going to show you exactly how this thing looks like when it's open. So we got the other str uh, straps here for the uh, crossbars. You guys gonna undo this, then you guys gonna pull it out and it will click. You guys will hear that. So here's the shower. Also, you guys going to use the anchor points that we talked early about it. And this is what the straps are for. You guys are gonna use them on the all four corners and be ready to use the shower. And here is the other step, the shower nozzle support. This one goes on top. It has two holes, which that's exactly where you're gonna slide it through it. The bottom part is gonna support the weight of the shower nozzle. We also have the straps. We got four straps around the shower tent. Very self-adjustable and easy. You guys don't have to do much other than this. Lift it up and pull it down at the same time. So now that you know how to set up your shower tent, we're gonna show you how to break it down. Do not forget to remove your shower head nozzle support. Now we're coming inside. We have two latches on each corner where you guys are going to press and the crossbar will close itself. After you guys do this, it will roll. You guys have to make sure the wire is out of the way before you close the cover. All right guys, and there you have it. You have the installation, all the parts and everything that come with this amazing shower tent. Again, if you have any questions, if you have information, or if you even wanna purchase it, which you definitely should purchase it, make sure to go to dfgoffroad.com. If you have any questions, feel free to write it in the comments or reach out to any of us personally. This is Carlos, owner, designer, engineer, and this is Mike. He will answer all your questions. So make sure to check out uh, the description for all the information. Thanks, guys. All right, Thank guys. You.